In this video, we are going to sand, clear coat, check after each step how good the clear coat is, test it out, coat some more, sand some more, test it out again, until we're finally satisfied with how the surface turned out. Now these cornhole boards have been sitting outside in the weather for probably more than a year. They are a little warped, but they are still usable. So let's do our best to fix it and give these a second life. The first thing I am doing here is sanding the whole thing with 80 grit sanding discs. With this alone, you will really bring back a good finish of the plywood top. Since these have been sitting outside, the bottom just needed a little bit of scraping to get the dirt off. I got the first one done, now you just repeat the same steps all over again on the second one. Obviously speeding up a video makes it look like you can get this done really quick, but it does take a little bit of time to get a good finish back on this plywood. Now the polyurethane I'm using is a clear satin finish, so it's not going to be very shiny. And we'll have more of a soft matte finish, which is something I prefer. Now by the time I got done coating the second one, the first one had soaked in so much that I could coat it again. But before I did that, I wanted to fill in some of these knot areas as much as possible to maybe build up the polyurethane to sort of smooth out the surface a little bit. And of course, the second board soaked in the first coat quickly, so I put on a second coat. Here you can see a better idea of what I'm doing with the polyurethane. Just dipping the brush in and trying to drip out those little areas that the knots form. The next day it was time to check them out and see what else needed done. You can tell that it did receive some sort of coating, but it still soaked in quite a bit, so we're going to need to be adding more layers. So this time I am sanding with 120 grit. For each stage of sanding, I increased and used a finer grit sandpaper each time. After sanding it, you will want to sweep up all the dust out of all the little crevices. I did want to see how well it slid after sanding it, and it did seem a little bit slicker, but there was still too much resistance against the cornhole bag. So technically this would be the third layer of polyurethane, but only the second session of applying it. You could tell this time when applying it that it wasn't soaking in near as quickly and easily as it did before. Part of that I think comes from using a finer grit sandpaper because you're not leaving as many thick abrasions on the surface so it has less area to soak the clear coat in. And again each time I tried dripping a bunch of clear coat into the areas of the wood knots. The next day before sanding, you could definitely tell that it was starting to get a more slick surface to actually be playable. For my last sanding, I used 220 grit sandpaper. I did test it after sanding and it really didn't seem to be much different. After sanding both of them, I figured I would give them some actual throws just to see how well they did. But I still wanted to go ahead and give them another layer of coating, and this would end up being the fourth and final layer. I started with a barely used can, and this is how much I had left from the whole project. And after the final dry, it was time to give them a real test with some sports movie flair.
Yeah, so when I was finished with this project, the filmmaker side of me ideas started forming in my head, so I figured I'd have some fun with it. Not to seem like an ad or anything, because this is not a sponsored video, but I did want to say I am very impressed with this $20 cornhole bag set I ordered for us. You can check out more about them with the link. As for the boards, the surface turned out really great and they are very slick and also the areas where I did add extra polyurethane, you can see it did smooth out really well. And my wife and I have been enjoying playing several games about every evening since finishing them. I hope maybe this gave you some inspiration for your own cornhole boards and thanks for watching.